Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In the previous video, we discussed the difference between static memory, which is allocating memory on the stack, and dynamic memory, which is allocating memory on the heap. In this video, we're going to extend that topic and include arrays. So in this video, we are going to allocate arrays on the heap. So we are going to dynamically allocate an array. All right, so let's begin with a quick review of how we've been creating arrays so far. So let's say there is a lottery going on and I want to buy lottery tickets. So to store the numbers of the lottery tickets, I would need an array. So to create an array, I would just type int lottery tickets. And let's say by default, we can only buy three tickets. So here I would create an array of size three. And actually we've been using the term size to refer to how many elements an array can hold. But actually the word should be capacity because size means something else. So here we've created an array of size three and this is created on the stack. And basically this is going to be created during compile time. And we can initialize this array with some values. So let's say I put in 55 and 32. So these are some lottery ticket numbers. So what we have is an array on the stack with capacity of three and a size of two. So basically the capacity is three, meaning we can hold up to three elements. So that's what capacity means. And the size is how many elements the array currently has. So currently we have two in the array and I can add another one so I can do lottery tickets index two and let's assign it 64. So I buy another lottery ticket and now I have size three. Now, if I want to buy one more ticket, well, I won't be able to because this lottery tickets array is full. So I won't be able to do lottery tickets of index three and assign it 99. And maybe this might work and you're able to write it to that memory address at index three, but this is not part of the array. Therefore, we are writing it to a block of memory that we should not be touching. So you should never write past the memory range of your array. So what do we do here? Well, since we created the array on the stack, we cannot allocate another array with the same name. So for instance, I cannot do int lottery tickets of capacity 10. So this would not be allowed because if I save and run the program, let's see what happens. And you can see it does not let us redeclare the array with size 10. And that is because an array that is declared on the stack has a fixed capacity. So once we declare it as an array of capacity three, that means that it can only hold up to three elements. So we cannot change that in our program. So let's get rid of this. All right, so what should we do now then? Well, why don't we try inputting a value? So instead of putting a static value, let's create a variable called capacity, and then let's prompt the user for an input. So let's ask how many tickets do you want to buy? And then let's see in capacity. So now if I run the program, it's going to ask me for an input and then I can put any number I want. And then we can take that number and place it in here. So let's see what happens. And as you can see, we get an error here. And basically it says expression must have a constant value. So by asking the user for an input, this value can vary. I can put in five, I can put in a hundred, I can put in any number. And that is not allowed because again, when we allocate memory on the stack, this is done during compile time. So when we were creating an array on the stack, in our program, we have to declare the size ahead of time and we cannot change the size. So if I want to buy more tickets, then I'd have to allocate more space somehow. And we are not able to do so using the stack memory. So this is where heap memory comes in. So the heap is much larger than the stack and we can allocate memory on the heap by using a pointer. So to create an array on the heap, I would do int star and let's call this lottery tickets. And to allocate memory on the heap, you always need to use the new keyword. So here I'm going to do new int and I'm going to put in bracket and here I can put in capacity. Now make sure that when you are allocating an array on the heap, you're using brackets. If I use parentheses, 
like so, I am creating a single integer with a value capacity. So if I pass in five, this is an integer five. But if I want to create an array that can hold five elements, I will need to use the brackets. All right, so let's change this back to capacity. So here, what I'm going to do is use a for loop and ask the user to input as many values as we want based on the capacity we entered. So here I'm going to do for int i is equal to zero, i less than capacity, i plus plus, c out, enter a lottery number. And then let's see in. And when we see in, we could do dereference of lottery tickets plus i, or we can do c in lottery tickets of index i. So remember from our video on pointers and arrays in C++, these two lines are equivalent. All right, so within this for loop, we are going to ask the user to enter a bunch of numbers, and then we are going to store them in our array. And afterwards, I want to print out the values in our array. So I'm going to do for int i is equal to zero, i less than capacity, i plus plus. And I'm just going to do c out lottery tickets of i. And then let's see out the end line character afterwards. So we are going to create an array on the heap and then ask the user to input a bunch of numbers and then store them in the array. Then we are going to print out all the numbers from the array. So after we've print out all the values, we're not going to do anything else with this array. So I'm going to free the memory and we use the delete keyword, but because this is an array, we add brackets and then we put in the array name. And another thing to note here is once we free the memory, lottery tickets is still pointing to that same memory address. So we need to change it so that it points to no pointer. That way we ensure that once we no longer need that memory space, we should also stop pointing to that memory address. Okay, so this is a full cleanup after you allocate memory on the heap. All right, so let's save and run the program. So how many tickets do I want to buy? Let's say I want to buy five tickets. So I can put in 25, 99, 34, 57, and 62. And as you can see, we have five elements in our array. And if I run the program again, let's say this time I want to buy 10. So let's say 99, 23, 47, 85, 66, 100, 105, 55, 33, 22. And you can see we have 10 numbers. And one thing to note here is just like how when we create the array on the stack, I can also initialize the array on the heap. So to do so, I would just add curly braces and put in my values so I can do 55, 32. And in this case, because we only have two elements and we are not filling up the entire capacity of the array, I'm just going to change this to two. All right, so let's save and run the program. And it's asking me how many tickets I want to buy. Let's put five. And you can see we have 55 and 32. Now, if I put in a capacity that is less than the number of elements, let's see what happens. So here, instead of putting two, I'm going to put one. And as you can see, we get an error. So make sure that when you are creating an array on the heap, you have enough capacity for all the elements. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you understand the differences between allocating an array on the stack versus allocating an array on the heap. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a like. And if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on more C++ tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.